Let's bring in our physician at Stanford Children's Health, Dr. Alok Patel. Good to see you, Doc. Garrett, good to see you as well. Hope you had a good, hopefully relaxing holiday. It was relaxing, yes, and I hope you had the same. Um, let's talk about, well, it's, it was relaxing until we found out on vacation about this new variant, and now there's a whole bunch of questions, right? And Very there's true. this new interview, uh, Alok, that came out in the Wall Street Journal where uh, Biotech's founder says that this variant could lead to more infections among the vaccinated, but it's unlikely to cause severe illness. And we're also learning this as the South African doctor who actually raised the alarm about the Omicron variant says that symptoms are mild so far and that there's no reason for panicking. And we heard the president say that yesterday as well. So what's your reaction to this and how concerned are you and how concerned do you think we should all be at this present moment? Well, Kira, I think overall, my reaction is that this is right in line with the messages that we need to be giving, not only to Americans, but to the entire world, is that number one, we don't need to panic if we're doing the steps we know actually will prevent the transmission and protect our bodies. And that's not only masks and distancing when necessary, but also with the vaccines themselves. Now, what the BioNTech CEO was referring to in that you can still get infected with this new variant, but it's likely to prevent severe illness, is that if we have a bunch of mutations on those spike proteins, with the Omicron variant having more than 20, remember Delta had about 10 unique and vari variations, mutations, so that's double the amount, it's possible that the virus can still get into the cell and attach to cells and infect somebody who's been vaccinated, but the vaccine can activate other parts of your immune system as well, and there's some memory there, which should be able to neutralize the virus and keep you from getting severely ill. So long story short, this is exactly why scientists would come out to say, if you haven't gotten vaccinated already, please do so. Also, everyone should definitely get a booster. And we need to be talking more about global vaccine equity. If we're gonna prevent this spread from going at an even wilder pace. Yeah, and I, I actually got my booster yesterday uh, after all this news, right? And I was able to even walk into the to the uh, pharmacy and get it. So they are available and you can show up and it, it, you don't have to wait very long depending on, on where you go. Uh, that's good news. Now, the president said yesterday also that we're learning more about this new variant every single day, as, as you mentioned. Um, so as a physician, what questions do you still have about the variant that, you know, you really would like to have answered? Answered. Well, the big question that I have as a physician, as someone who's living in this society as a parent, is the one that I'm hearing from everyone else as well. It's that, is it really going to be more contagious, more transmissible? Will it cause more severe disease? Is it going to be able to reinfect people? Will it evade the immune system? And all these questions need a little bit of time to find the answer. Scientists need to actually get the variant into a lab, grow it, and mix some blood or some serum from other patients with antibodies and look to see what actually happens. That takes time, which is why it's so important that people understand that everything we're doing right now is preventative. We're trying to prevent an outbreak from happening from this variant. Now, remember last summer, we got a little cocky. We were very happy with how things were going, and then Delta showed up and just rained all over our fall plans. That's exactly what we're trying to avoid, not only for ourselves, but for many parts of the world where they don't have readily available access to vaccines or to this, the same healthcare infrastructure that we have here. The president also said yesterday, one more question, if you don't mind, he's working on contingency plans. He said that they're working with pharma companies right now to modify vaccines if needed. So do you think this will be necessary? And if so, do you think we'd receive the vaccines in time to actually fight this variant? You know, Kira, I think this is a headline that's already being misinterpreted right now. And people are looking at this and saying, oh, my gosh, the pharma companies are trying to make money. We knew this was going to happen. We've seen this play out amongst conspiracy theorists. And I think it's important that people understand that the capability, the technology is there. That is the beauty of mRNA vaccine technology, which has been around for more than about two decades, is that it's all essentially a plug and play with the genomic sequence, the genetic sequence of any new variant. I think it's definitely a possibility that we may see a booster or another vaccine in the future if this variant gets out of control. But again, I don't think we should jump to any conclusions there and we should just tell people what we don't know, what we do know, and make sure that everyone knows that there is no reason to panic as long as you're doing what we all know is work and what will keep you safe. Dr. Alok Patel, thank you for just calming us all down. Appreciate you. <laughs> yeah, I appreciate you. <laughs> Find the meditation right now. All right. <laughs> I have a Tibetan singing bowl back here. Don't worry. Okay, we're going to pull that out next time we worry. <laughs> Thanks, Doc. 
Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.